Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create a function module and how to call it in a program. Function modules are very practical because you can encapsulate code in them and then call them up in different programs. The advantage of this is that if you later realize that there is an error in the logic of the code, it only has to be corrected in one place, namely in the function module itself. So, there are only two ways of creating function modules in SAP. First, call the transaction SE37. Here you can type the name of your function module and click on the button create. Then you have to uh, pick a function group or or and pick a short text of the function module itself. But I have already a function group and I create my whole objects always with the transaction SE80. So we see here I have a function group, but if you don't have one, create a uh, uh, click on the on the package right mouse click create and function group then when we have the function group we uh, in my example fg we click right mouse click and create function module so we have to pick a name of the function module here and i type here set test get flights oh, test get flights and then a short description get flights then i click on save okay there's a warning but we can go on here click on the button and now we have a new window with the importing, exporting parameters and source code. And in my example today, I will select the table SBFly with uh, the care ID and the con ID, and I want to get the result. So for this, I need here to import values. First, the care ID. And I use here IV for import value. So let's have a look to the table. We need the care ID and the con ID here. And with uh, these values, we read the table. Okay, so I write here care ID, type. And here we pick the same data element like in the table. And in this case, it's S care ID. Press enter. Next line. We need the import value con ID. Type S con ID. On ID enter. Then we we go to the tab export, and here I need an export table. I call it ETSB uh, ET, ET flights type. And here we need the table type of the table SB fly and. This is called SPFly tab. This is the table type. Next, we click on the tab source code. And here we see uh, our importing and exporting parameters. And these parameters we can use in the source code. And now let's write a simple select statement. Select star from 
SB fly into table ET flights. Where care ID equals E we care ID and con ID equals E we con ID. Ready print and activate the code. Okay, so now we have uh, created the function module with two input values and one export value. And now we can test the function module. Now we have to pick the two uh, input values. So let's have a look to the table entries. So I pick here LH for example and the con ID 400 and then we should get one record. So let's try this. I write here LH and 400 and I execute the function module and we see we have one entry here. So let's open the table and we see our entry with the care ID LH and con ID 400. Let's compare this with the table entry and this is our record. Yes. Now we have created the simple function module and now let's call this uh, created function module in a test program. So let's copy the name of the function module and now let's open a test program. Then we click on the button pattern. Now let's paste the name of the function module here. And go oh, enter. And then we have the function call. The next, uh, what we have to do is to write here, to fill here our input values. For example, LH and 400. And we have to declare a variable for the export table, for our export value. And I call it LT flights of type SB fly tab. And now let's write this here, LT lights. And I want to display my result. And for this I use the class um, CL demo output called method display. And I want to display my result, LT flight. Okay, let's activate the code and execute the program. And we see here the result of the table SB fly. We see here the Kennedy LH and Kennedy 400. Yes. That was it already. If you liked the video, I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment. I always enjoy reading it. If you like my channel, I would appreciate a subscription. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.